Hello everyone, I am Monica Bhushan and today we are starting class 3 of Laplace transform. Okay, so in last class if you remember that we had seen Laplace transform of e raised to at. It was 1 by s minus a. We had seen frequency shift property. Now in today's class we are going to see the function ft which is multiplied by t. So what we will be getting as the answer. So, so if function is ft, so we know that after performing Laplace transform, we are going to get the answer in frequency domain. It will be function in s domain. Now, multiplication of t will result in negative of d by ds of that fs which we had got. Okay, so if we will be uh, writing down the general form, so general form is t to the power n. Here you can say that this is t to the power 1. So if it is t to the power n into ft, so what we will be getting? So this is n times we are multiplying t. So here also it will be minus 1 to the power n dn by ds n fs. So we'll see how to solve this type of uh, formula in our question. So question set 3 we are starting where the very first question is Laplace transform of t sin omega t. Okay, so t sin omega t that means as per my formula we will be saying that if I am not seeing suppose this t which is the multiplying factor of ft. So after, I mean other than having t what is there? This is your ft. So we'll say that my ft is sin omega t. This is my first step. First step is just fetch out ft which is in this case sin omega t. Omega is a constant, the general form. It can be any constant. So the first step is perform Laplace transform of sin omega t. So Laplace transform of sin omega t is what? Omega by s square plus omega square we had seen in the first class. After that, what we are doing? The second step. Second step is whatever we have got as by fs. This fs we are going to write down as negative of d by ds of fs. That means minus d by ds of omega by s square plus omega square. After differentiation whatever will be coming this will be my answer. So you might be knowing this d by ds of this part but I will just explain it. That we know that general form of d by dx of u by v is how much? v d by dx of u minus u d by dx of v divided by v square. Okay, so in this case, my v is what? v is the denominator part. So denominator is s square plus omega square. d by ds of, what is my numerator? Numerator is omega minus Again, u is, my omega, uh, u is my omega and then d by ds of denominator. Denominator is s square uh, plus omega square. Okay, now what we are doing after and then divided by v square. This is s square plus omega square whole square. Fine, now what we are going to do? So, we know that it is s square plus omega square and then d by ds of we had said that this omega is constant so d by ds of any constant will give you answer as zero so this complete term will become zero then minus omega and then d by ds of s square will be how much 2s plus again d by ds of omega square d by ds of constant will be zero divided by s square plus omega square whole square. So because of this d by ds of constant the first term becomes 0 and then we will be writing down minus 2s omega divided by s square plus omega square whole square and then this minus sign is also there correct. So because of this minus and this minus becomes plus we will be getting 2 omega s by s square plus omega square whole square. Okay, similarly we can solve this question also exactly same method t into cos omega t. So if we will just leave this t for now, whatever is there it is my function t. This is my ft. So my ft is cos omega t. So first step is find out, uh, find out your Laplace transform of cos omega t. Laplace transform of cos omega, uh, this is your cos omega t. So it will be how much? It will be s by s square plus omega square. So this fs, this fs we have got. Now what is my second step? 
Second step is just see that your cos omega t is multiplied with t to the power what? t to the power if it is 1. So fine, it is just minus d by ds of s or you can say minus f dash s. Both are same. So minus d by ds of uh, this is your s by s square plus omega square. So on the same way we are going to perform but how we have got this answer? So this we are going to perform again the same uh, formula d by dx of u by v v into d by dx of u minus u into d by dx of v divided by v square that means your v is denominator which is your s square plus omega square and then d by ds of u u is s okay minus u again u is s and then d by ds of v v is s square plus omega square divided by v square that means s square plus omega square whole square so first term will become what s square plus omega square d by ds of s will give you 1 then minus s into d by ds of s square will be how much 2s plus d by ds of again constant will be 0 and then denominator is s square plus omega square whole square so finally what we have got s square plus omega square minus 2s square correct minus uh, minus 2s square divided by s square plus omega square whole square. So the numerator is how much? s square my omega square minus s square and then s square plus omega square whole square. So one more negative sign is there. So because of this negative, we can rearrange it and we can write s square minus omega square divided by this much. So this we had got the second question uh, answered. The third question is, Laplace transform of t cube into e raised to 2t. So if we remember that last class we had solved same question, correct? But we had used the property frequency shift property. So same question we are going to solve in this class using today's formula which is multiplying by uh, t raised to n. So same answer like this answer we had got last class also. We will be seeing that how we are going to get the same answer using this method. So again the same uh, step one is what you have to find Laplace transform of ft. What is your ft here? ft is e raised to 2t. So e raised to 2t is what? 1 by s minus a. Correct? a is 2 here. So 1 by s minus a is 1 by s minus 2. First step completed. Second step is what? Now you have to see that your ft is multiplied by t to the power what? t to the power here uh, 3 is there correct so that means minus 1 to the power 3 d3 by ds cube and then your fs your fs is 1 by s minus a uh, 1 by s minus 2 yeah so because it is 3 power 3 so we are writing down minus 1 to the power 3 d3 by ds cube if it was 4 it was your 4 and then d4 by D, ds4 and so on okay so we can rewrite the same step as minus 1 to the power 3 is what? Minus 1 only. Then d3 by ds cube. So what we can write? 1 by s minus 2 can be written as s minus 2 to the power minus 1. So how we have got this answer? If we will be seeing that the answer is because of 3 times we are differentiating this fs. So first we just say that first uh, if suppose we are differentiating one time okay d by ds of s minus 2 to the power minus 1 will be how much? Now what is my general form? General formula is d by dx of x to the power n is how much? n into x to the power n minus 1. So this is my general formula correct no? So using this formula we are writing down minus 1 n, has, uh, n is here only and then s minus 2 then n minus 1. So it is your minus s minus 2 to the power minus 2. This is what? This is answer, This is your d by ds of your fs. d by ds of fs. Now first time, one time differentiation is completed. Now we have to perform differentiation second time. So what we are doing now? d by ds of this complete thing we have to perform. That means what we have to do, we have to find out d by ds of this right hand side. This is what? Minus s minus 2 to the power minus 2. So this will be again taking minus outside and then we are writing down d by ds of s minus 2 to the power minus 2 will give me minus this minus 2. This is nothing but my n 
and then s minus 2 to the power minus 2 minus 1. It will be minus minus becomes plus. So, 2 into s minus 2 to the power minus 3. Okay. So, this part is your d2 s by ds, d2 f by ds square. But we have to perform one more time. Correct? No. So, third time that means finally what we are going to say that is your d3 by ds cube fs will be your d by ds of this term what we have got answer of second differentiation so it will be 2 into s minus 2 to the power minus 3 so this we have to perform and then we will be done so 2 we just taken outside and then it is your nothing but minus 3 is your n s minus 2 to the power minus 3 minus 1 it is minus is outside 3 into 2 6 s minus 2 to the power minus 4. So, either you write minus 6 into s minus 2 to the power minus 4 or you can write minus 6 by s minus 2 to the power 4. And then remember that one more negative sign is present here. So, this minus minus becomes plus and the answer will be 6 by s minus 2 to the power 4. So, if you find this class useful, then please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.